Alright you guys, I'm out here at Lake Berryessa. It's been about three and a half, four months since I've been fishing. Um, had to take care of some family for about two months and then got right back to work and a week later damn near cut off my finger. Uh, so this is the longest time I've been without being on the water and since I was a little three, four year old boy. Trolling out of Markley Cove, I saw a bunch of fish splashing, hitting shad, so I figure I'll troll through it. I'm gonna make my way out to the main body of water. Going for salmon, trout, kokanee. So uh, hopefully we'll get something on the line. Like I said, as soon as I pulled in the water, there was trout hitting shad out here, right at Markley Cove, boiling on the top. So we'll see what we can do. I'll see you guys back when I get to the main body of water. All right, you guys, I'm coming up to a point that I typically would fish almost every trip I come out almost always pull something off of it so I'm just gonna start recording see what happens here um, I don't know what it is there's almost always fish it's not trout it's bass you can always get something right here going about two miles an hour marking a bunch of fish comes up to a point at about goes from like 60 to 30 foot always seems to be a pretty good spot gotta get my lure a minute to get there I'm out quite a ways I'm out about 60 feet from the back of the boat. And there we go. Boom, just like that. I called that one. It's been a while since I've been here, but like I said, that's my lucky spot right there. Doing okay with just one hand so far. Like I said, that's my lucky spot right there, you guys. Every trip, I always nail a fish right there on that corner. Almost like I didn't skip a beat. you guys got a nice king right off the bat uh, got only one hand so it's kind of hard to, to hold this fucker let me get this fish back in the water catch and release oh shit I'm trying to film deer you guys and just got a fish on <laughs> shit. trying to film those deer on the bank Okay, this feels like a good, good fish here. I'm trying to get some film. There's about three or four deer on the bank over there, and got a fish right around that same area from that first point where I just caught that last one. The way it's fighting, I think it's either a trout or a king. Well, I 
stand corrected. It's a bass. All right, you guys, not what I'm going for, but another nice, nice fish. Like I said, this area is good for bass, trout, kings. Got two fish pretty, pretty fast. So I'm not gonna leave this area. Don't never leave. Don't leave a spot where you're catching fish. It's always bad luck. So get back with you guys when I get another one. I got a bass on. Another bass. Goddamn it, I'll Alright, another bass. Back in the water he goes. All right, you guys, gonna run this flasher. Looks like I'm marking fish down at 30 and 40 foot. They're also breaking the surface, so I think they're kind of all over the place right now, but uh, tipped it with a little tiny minnow. And some people use worms, some people use power bait. I like to use little tiny minnows. I think it makes, makes it look more like a fleeing little school of fish or something like that. So I'll throw this down there 30 foot, see what happens. All right, you guys, got one king. Two bass, right off the bat, uh, trolled all day. It's getting way too windy out there and it's real hot. So going in, trolling to Market Cove. If I catch anything on the way in, I'll most definitely get it on film for you guys. For those of you, be careful at work. Don't want to cut those tendons. It'll take you out of fishing for quite a while. It took me out for about two months. I still really can't do it the same. So thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment.